Disking today with the uh, mighty 730 diesel. Uh, I was intending to go with this plowed ground the first time with my 1800, Oliver 1800, and it did about half the piece I was working on last night, and then it quit on me. Uh, they had carburetor issues all year with it, and I thought it had it running just right. You got a new car carburetor on it, but it just started sputtering and spitting, and and just the more gas you gave it, the worse it got. So I think there's either something in the fuel line, no possibility maybe the gas cap is um, uh, not bending properly. I think there could be junk in the fuel tank. I should have taken that fuel tank off and had it relined and cleaned. I've done that with practically every other old tractor I had, but I didn't do it with that one, and maybe I'm paying the price for that. Anyway, I always tell on this tractor. It's the first tractor I bought when I <coughs> got into antique farming, and uh, it's just a great tractor. I, you, you all who looked this up probably know the history of it, but it was really only made for about a year and a half, two years maybe, uh, in America. They made it in South America and sold it in Mexico, South America, up until 1970, believe it or not. But um, it was the uh, kind of the go-between between, between the, uh, the 70, I'm sorry, the 720 and the 4010 when it came out. It was a, it came out in a year where the four, I believe the 4010 was supposed to be uh, introduced, but they weren't quite ready for it. So they tricked this tractor up a little bit, gave it a little better styling, gave it sort of the slanted hood, the slanted uh, roll top fenders there, and uh, still a two cylinder though, the last of the era. It's been a great running tractor for me. I've owned it since 2012, so I've got what 12 years in with it now. Really is pulling this disc quite easily. I kind of don't like to go over plowed ground with a narrow front, uh, but the Rollomatic helps get over these bumps. Uh, any other tractor would probably beat you to death. So it's doing fine today, as it always does. This is a John Deere AW disc. I, I've shown this in many of my videos, but it's a 12 footer. And uh, just trying to get over this plowed ground one time, let it dry up a little bit. The other field worked up fine. This one might turn out to be a little wet, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, a uh, few things about the tractor that I think are interesting. I've got the six pack of weights on the front of it. Uh, you could get that originally, but most people just bought the three. To, you really need three weights on it to balance out a four bottom uh, mounted plow. <coughs> so four Four of my weights are original, two of them are reproduction. That top weight is uh, very hard to find as an original, and you'll pay thousands of dollars to get it if you find one, if it's at an auction. If you get lucky enough to find one at the bottom of a bin or something like that, grab it, because it's worth a fair amount. Anyway, I'm gonna get on the tractor here. I'll go bouncing along, and uh, hope you enjoy this video, and God bless you.